Hey, what's up guys? This is Kayla with DSLR Video Shooter and I just got a question online um, asking me what are my export settings and kind of what my workflow is for exporting. Um, so I'm going to do a quick video instead of writing it out. That way everyone can benefit if anyone had the same question. This is a little, can kind of be uh, used um, across multiple people's setups. So if you're using Premiere, this is going to be kind of the same, even though I'm using Final Cut because um, the principles still apply. And I do it a little differently from a lot of people. I actually, um, I do it in two steps. I, I come out of Final Cut into its own little file, and then I use another application to compress it. So let's jump right in. I got this timeline here. Everything's edited, all ready to roll. I even rendered it out. And what I'm going to do is go to File. This is in Final Cut. File, Export. Oops, let me select my timeline first. File, Export, QuickTime Movie. And I, I should show this to you at some point down the road, but essentially I have a specific filing system. And uh, in each project file, I have this file right here, and it's called exports. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my file in there. I already have one in there, so I'm going to put it to after this one. And you're going to notice I'm not going to use, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to make this self-contained. Um, a lot of people are going to maybe disagree, but because I know I'm going to compress it and create a different file, I don't want to make a massive file. I just want something that I can use to then compress. So it's going to point back to Final Cut rather than creating its own uh, specific independent file. So I'm going to uncheck that. Uh, I use current settings. This is going to mimic exactly what my timeline is set to. So it's the highest quality that it's coming out of. So on my timeline, I'm doing this part, particular project in uh, Apple Pro is 422. So I'm going to leave that there. Uh, put it in this folder, save, and it should be, yep, really fast because it's not, you know, it's just literally dumping all this into one file I've already rendered. If we jump over to Finder, i um, going to go to Exports, bam, there's our project. Now I'm actually going to open up MPEG Stream Clip, and a lot of people are like, have, have wondered why on earth I use this as opposed to QuickTime or coming out of Final Cut Pro. But it actually does a really good job of uh, compressing files, and uh, I really, really prefer using it. So I'm going to grab that file we just created, dump it in here, and just kind of see, make sure we're in the right ballpark. Yep, it's the right file. And uh, what's nice is we're going to go to File here, and I'm going for this particular export and compression. I'm going to go to uh, MPEG-4. And you're given all kinds of settings here. Um, you can customize it each time. I just got sick of doing, I usually do the same thing. So I created what's called presets right down here. And uh, in presets, I have two here. One is iTunes. This is for my podcast show. When I send a file over to iTunes, it needs to be specifically laid out. Um, so that's what that's for. And then I have Vimeo 5000. This is more of a web um, compression setup. And so what I'm doing here is H.264 for my compression, limit data rate to 5,000. And this is kind of cool. It actually shows you over here on the right um, how big your end file is going to be, which is really handy when, you're, um, when a client says, I need this under 500 megabytes or whatever. You can now tune this to, to experiment and see what, uh, what you're working with. 5,000 works pretty good. Um, and for sound, just MPEG. For stereo, and I put it at 44.1. You could do 44.8, but a lot of these sites like Vimeo are already going to compress it to 44.1. So I'm just going to help them out a little bit and, and go ahead and set it there. Uh, leave all that stuff unchecked. And then over here, I have uh, 720p. You could do 1080, but I think for most things, this is plenty for where most people are at. Um, so this right here is how I do my exports. If you want to see like how the quality looks, Every single one of my shows on Vimeo is compressed using these settings. So if you've been watching my show on, on the website when you see the Vimeo embedded um, video there, this is what you're seeing. So I'm going to go ahead and make MPEG-4, and I have a file called Compressions. So not Exports, but Compressions. That's where I'm going to put this guy. When I hit Save, you're going to notice two windows pop up, and if it doesn't, you can go to Window and you want uh, show export preview. And this is really cool. This is a preview window that shows you where it's at in the, compre the compressing process. And you can make this thing huge, 
and it's cool because you can actually you know take a really close look and see how the footage is looking compressed um, this is really handy if you are kind of experimenting as you're doing compression you can see right off the bat holy cow you know this looks horribly blocky and so rather than uh, like QuickTime you'd have to export an hour-long project and wait to see what it looked like this you can instantly get a preview and over here we're given more information on where our uh, um, encode is at so this is a great app a lot of people only use it for transcoding footage but it does a phenomenal job compressing uh, I recommend it it's free which is great and one of the best things is now that this is rolling over here I can now go back to Final Cut and continue editing or do whatever else switch to a whole different project because I'm not tying it up this uh, MPEG is doing dealing with all the compression and now I can go back to uh, Final Cut and now work with it um, and that's the benefit of doing it in MPEG and not from here you could go export QuickTime conversion and that's where you would set it up and uh, compress it from there so let me know what you guys think uh, I'd like to hear what you guys do, uh, if you have any other questions, and, and if you think this is, Caleb, you're doing it all wrong, man, this, this is horrible, here's a better way, always looking for uh, input, uh, you can check out more on dsrvideoshooter.com, and we will see you guys over there.